ask and you shall receive. We are in the Del Mar Life Kitchen where we're getting ready to make a compound butter for this steak right here. Uh, uh, Corey, you joked yesterday about cooking a steak on, actually, I told you you were gonna cook a steak on the show today. And, and here it is. Here it is. We've become steak masters. So <laughs> uh, I, I've, I've done a little research and I found that compound butter or finishing butter, as a lot of people like to call them, uh, do the best at like bringing out the flavors of the meat and they're super easy to make and they're super easy just to kind of keep on standby in your fridge for other dishes like fish, chicken, whatever. So okay. let's get started on making the butter. First off, you want to start off with two sticks of softened butter. Now, some people will go unsalted so that they can control the salt. Sure. But yeah. I went ahead and went with salted. Now, I'm actually gonna save a pad of this for when we cook our steaks here in a bit, but Very I'm gonna important. hand you these. Okay. And they've been out of the fridge for, for a couple hours, so they should be pretty soft and malleable, I guess you Malleable, would say. okay. Can I put them in this bowl? Yep, go ahead and throw them in the bowl. That's gonna be our mixing bowl for today. Okay. And I go. will also give you the time. What now, time is it? it it's yeah. time for time. Time for time. Now, for time, you just pick it off the stems and you could just toss it right in the bowl. Okay, so I just want the little leaves. Yes, just the little leaves. And I'm going to chop Oops. up some fresh, um, some fresh, uh, what do they call these things? Chives? That's what I said, chives, oh. yes. <laughs> so I'm going to chop up these. And the cool thing about having this in the fridge is, you know, if the kids or whatever are looking for a meal or if you guys have a late night and you just want to throw something in, it's a way to kind of spice up an easy dish, you know? Pastas, this is really good for. Mm -hmm. And another thing is if you're going to make this dish or this compound butter thing, you want to do it right. So it takes like, I don't know, 10 minutes or so just to kind of get it prepped and everything ready to go. Oh, okay. So if you're going to take the time to do it, use fresh herbs, people. Don't, don't go buy the dehydrated stuff. I mean, herbs when they're raw are pretty much cheap enough to, you know, just kind of keep on hand for a little while, especially if you're going to make this. So let me ask you this. Uh -huh. Is it just for steak? Can you use compound butter for other things? Uh, yes. I've actually used compound butter on chicken. It tastes really good. Pasta. Um, so all that stuff. There has to be a better way to do this, Corey. Than to peel it? Like, nope, that's what happened. That's how you do it. <laughs> that's how we do it. Okay. All right. So uh, w how did you become such a steak master? So uh, as a American, I love <laughs> red meat. Yeah. And I've always at home done a really good job of burning my meat or not cooking or overcooking my meat. So what I did is I started to do a bunch of research mm -hmm. on different ways to cook things and how to make it taste better because I loved it so much. And then when I got married, I kind of honed in on those skills. Ooh, so good husband. My, so my wife too could enjoy my love of red meat. Now, before we got married, she wasn't a red meat fan. No? No. You converted her. I did. She uh, she actually asks for it sometimes now, which is kind of <laughs> cool, which means I get to eat steak. So how, okay, we have this pan going here. How long do we have to cook the steak? The steak, uh, it, it depends on how you like it done. I like mine um, still making noises with some fur on the back. Okay. So if you <laughs> like it that rare. way. Yeah. I mean, it'll be just a few minutes. We should be okay. Oh, okay. All right, I'm just going to work. Uh, going to work with this yes. time here. Do I and, just? And, uh, th yeah, whatever time that you we have time to put in there will <laughs> be fine. <laughs> we have plenty of time for the time. And you want to go ahead and uh, chop up fresh garlic cloves as well. Some people will use garlic powder, mm -hmm. but I just like using the fresh cloves. And if you want to spice it up a little bit, you can use like a Cajun spice or something like that. That's mm -hmm. fine. Um, but I like mine simple. I let the flavor of the thyme really bring out the flavor of the steak, and of course. Steak is not steak without butter and garlic. So what's your favorite steak? Uh, definitely the filet. Yeah. I like it super rare. I like it super lean and super tender. Now don't you have to have, don't you want to have like some of the marbling in it to give it some juice? Yeah. Yeah. Some people will do that. Like some people like will have their ribeyes with lots of marbling in it. Or if you look into more expensive cuts like the Wagyu stuff, that will have really nice, even delicious marbling. Mm hmm But I really enjoy the filet, or even the porterhouse. I like to call that the double whammy, because the porterhouse, you're getting a huge filet and New York strip. And New York strip is what we're going to have today. So. We have smoke going here. Perfect. Oh, OK. All right, so you <laughs> want to get your pan smoking hot. Smoking hot. I'm going to give you some fresh chopped garlic okay. and some fresh cloves. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to toss these steaks on the grill. 
Lisa's going to mash this together to make your perfect compound butter. And when we come back, we get to taste it. And you have some uh, compound butter, not what I made, because I, I mixed it all together and then what, you put it in the freezer? Or? Yep, so what we do is we wrap it up in a, like a, a wax paper, parchment paper, or cellophane works just as fine. You wrap it up into like a sausage form and you let it sit in the fridge for like two hours. Mm -hmm. So what we'll do is we took just our, our standard compound butter that mm -hmm. is hardened overnight or for two hours at least and what you do is you just kind of melt it over this steak and as this melts we're going to go ahead and serve you up oh i like that idea a delicious steak there's one for you hopefully you get that to, there we go it's starting to melt right on there i move this out of the way here oh and folks when you're cooking your steak using compound butter go ahead and use your reg regular everyday um stuff yeah you can use that knife why not i can use your knife so if you cook it with butter and thyme cook it with butter and thyme the uh, actual a compound butter is just gonna kind of make the flavors pop a little bit mm. here you go thank you very much I'll make sure i get some compound butter in my bite yes i'm just gonna kind of rub my butter my my butter <laughs> saucer all over this steak <laughs> mm. well the verdict oh that is so good does it make it pop can I? It's popping. You have my fork. Oh, I have your fork. I'm sorry. You're hogging it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my. What are we making tomorrow? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> All right. We're going to eat steak. Time now to head down the hall to the news box for WBOC News at 6. We will see you back here tomorrow. Mmm.